Hello and welcome to this, the third instalment in this introductory series to synthesis, which will be covering the envelope. Here we have the envelope of the state zero synthesizer, which is attached and triggered by the gate coming from a keyboard. This envelope is slightly unusual in that it has rates and destinations rather than times and levels, but we can still demonstrate the basic types of envelope using these. If we bring in an attack level, then we see as the gate is triggered, the envelope rises up, reaches the level, and then decays away. At the start of the trigger, the first stage of the envelope occurs in which the rate travels towards the level set in that stage. Once that level is set, it triggers the next stage and so on until it waits at this for the release to occur. If we set all of the stages equal to the same value before the release, we now have an attack release envelope and this will remain high as long as the key is held. If the envelope is re-triggered before it has decayed completely, it lifts back up from where it turned around. It doesn't reach zero. Setting those back to zero again, we have the attack decay envelope. This has a fixed time, no matter how long the gate is held for. Adjustable with the rates here. Setting a level less than 100% for the stage before release, we get the classic attack, decay, sustain, release type of envelope. This is the most commonly used envelope in modern synthesizers for its versatility as modifying its parameters can create the attack, decay and attack, release types as well. The more complex synthesizers such as this add additional stages. These additional stages here haven't been labelled such that it could be inserted before, during or after the traditional stages to provide additional flexibility. Some synthesizers would label these attack, decay 1, decay 2 and release, and these are left for the user's imagination. <laughs> 